I just feel like a sweet presence today of, of God. I, I just feel so sweet, like it's just a subtle presence. It's like a, this, there's a song that says, like the dew and the morning gently rest upon my heart. And there's something about the presence of God when he's here, it's just a sweet, sweet presence and it's so calming. It's so calming. But we know that hour, you know, everybody had to push their hour up, but we're here to awaken you all today. <laughs> we're here to sing awakening. <laughs> we're here to awaken you all, <laughs> awaken your spirits. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.
we are surrounded by God everywhere that we go. His angels are surrounding us, protecting us from danger seen and unseen. Hallelujah. that you prepared for me in the presence of my enemies it's your body and your blood you shed for me this is how I fight my battles oh sing that with me if you can there's a table that you prepared For me, this is how I fight my battles. Oh, and I believe you overcome, and I will live my song and praise for what you've done. This is how I fight my battles. Come on, this is how I fight my battles. This is how.
One of my favorite songs to sing. This is how I fight come on, keep singing. This is how I fight my battle. I said this is one of my favorite songs to sing because I don't know if you've ever felt surrounded. You felt like the enemy was on every hand. He was on every side. Sometimes you have to minister to yourself. The Bible said David encouraged himself in the Lord. And David was a man of war. So you know when he went to war, he it may look like he was surrounded. But if I believe David knew this song, he would be whispering that to himself. This is how I sometimes you gotta tell the enemy, this is how I find my oh, if you've ever had any battles to fight but I've had some battles to fight and I know that God has helped me win and overcome every one of them I know I'm not perfect and I know there's a battle that I fight daily but with God on our side I'm sorry I'm just encouraging myself today with God on my side with Jesus on my side I'm destined to win. I'm born to win. I'm born to win. We were destined to overcome. We were destined to overcome. The moment you accept Jesus in your life, you're destined to overcome. Hallelujah. Sorry, I really like singing that song. I really love singing that song. I really love singing that song. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, spirit break out, spirit break out.
worship, God, I worship. Lord, we worship you today. Lord, we welcome your presence. We welcome your presence in this place. We consecrate ourselves to you, Lord. Lord, remove anything that is not like you. Remove those things that are not like you, Lord. Forgive us of our transgressions, Jesus. Oh, come on, let's just minister. Oh, let's just worship the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, spirit break out. Spirit break out. Oh, spirit break out. Oh, spirit break out. Oh, heaven come down. Heaven come down. We call on heaven to come down. Spirit break out. Break through the atmosphere, oh God. Break our walls down. Break our walls. Tear down the strongholds, Jesus. Spirit Legacy. 
Listen, I want to run in this building. I just want to break out in a run because the breaker is among us. The breaker is among us right now. Whatever it is that you need, whatever it is that you desire right now, the breaker is here. He's here. My God, we need some people to get excited about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We're not talking about a man, but we're talking about the Lord God. We're talking about Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Just sing just about 30 seconds more of that song. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody up on their feet. Come on. How can you sit in the presence of a mighty God? Sphere that God breaks. He 
breaks and he shakes and he quakes that which comes against you. So I guess nobody needs anything. Come up to the throne. Come up. You all should run up here. Run up here. What is this thing that's holding us this morning? Come up. Come up to the throne this morning. Come up. Come up. I'm just going to stand here and keep saying it. Come up. now this altar is open just step right on up come on are you in no. come on you need to hurry it up if you're going to come up for prayer come on let's do this thing hallelujah so cold and an so cold. He wants to, to break. He wants to break. He came here to break. I don't know what chains or what strongholds 
that we have over our lives, but God is here to break those things off of us. He says that freedom is here today. Freedom is here for anybody who needs it in any way, any shape or form. Any strongholds, anything that is holding you, holding you back or binding you today. God is saying, come to get that freedom today. Come to get your freedom today. It's here for you today. I hear the Lord say, you serve a supernatural God. And you want to see supernatural things in your life. Come up to the place where you can receive the supernatural from your supernatural God. But you must break out of the natural to receive from me today. It is your choice to break out and come up higher. Come up higher. See from a different perspective what I have for you today. Just raise your hands right now. Just receive from the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Rosa, come. Pray for her. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I 
Just let it flow out of your bellies. Out of your bellies, let it flow, let it flow. Oh. Out of your bellies, let it flow, let it flow. Out of your bellies, let it flow, let it flow. Out of your bellies, let it flow. The sound of rain. I hear the sound of rain. Oh, yes. Let it flow, 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 let it flow. Ah, uh, from the crowns of the head to the soles of your feet. Roba Ah, uh, yes. The power, let, let the power flow. Let the power go. Let the power flow. Let the power flow. The power, power flow. Let the power flow. Let the power flow. From the head to the toe, let it flow, flow. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow Until our life is changed Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow Until the power shows up Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow From the head to your toe We decree and declare the blessings of the Lord Ah yes let it overtake you, 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 Roba Shete. Glory, 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 glory is the highest praise. Is the highest praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. He's the Lord is coming back for a um, energized church, <laughs> not a lethargic church. <laughs> He's not coming back for a lethargic church, but a church that's on fire with great expectations about what God's doing. You know, you can become so familiar. You can become so familiar with his presence and his glory. But if you will just begin to cry out for him, the more. Just like you did the first time you came to him. My God, do you remember that? Do you remember when? Hallelujah, never lose that, never lose that. Hallelujah, that, that fervency for more of the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. So praise God, we're so glad that you're here at Legacy Life, welcome to Legacy Life. Amen. We're glad that you're here today. Amen. Welcome back, the Coolies ministers. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> We're glad that you're here today. Amen. We're glad for the family in the house. Amen. Amen. God is so good. Well, praise the Lord. I, I just want to say thanks to everyone who prayed for me. See, I guess, you know, you guys may not be able to take me today because you know, I've watched the hand of God in my life personally. I got a call on Thursday. I believe it was Thursday. 
I'm, my, all my days are running together, but I believe it was Thursday. I was in a meeting at work and, and my sister called me on the phone and she never calls me during the work hours usually, or it's at lunchtime or something like that. But she called me and she said, uh, and I'm in a meeting and I just still answer the phone. And I said, I gotta call you back, turn to the side. I said, I gotta call you back. And she goes, no, you gotta hear right now. Your sister, our sister has been in a car accident. They believe she's had a stroke. You need to call me back now. And so I ran out of the, the meeting uh, and, and began to talk to her. And, and I'm telling you, I saw the hand of God this week. I saw the hand of God this week. Hallelujah. My sister, she was, uh, she did have a stroke and um, that, um, they had to actually move her from one hospital to another hospital and a trauma center. And praise God, that doctor uh, immediately, because of your prayers, when I sent out the prayer request, everybody was praying. Everybody was praying. And I just I thank God for that. Thank you for your faithfulness. And, and as soon as the prayers begin to go out, the doctor that she had said, um, that he had to go in immediately and do surgery. Now, I've never heard of that before where they do it so quick, but they went right in and did the surgery and they were able to find the blockage and remove the blockage. And uh, yesterday we were able to FaceTime her. We FaceTime her. Um, she still had the ventilator in her mouth, but she was alert and she could, she was smiling because we were on the phone with her, her family, her siblings, and we, this is what we said to her. We said, get up out of that bed. Get up out of that bed. Take up your bed and walk. We begin to declare that over her. And she just looked at us and, and she had this smile on her face. It's like, she said, they still crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but praise God, we're expecting that ventilator to come out today. And uh, it's, you know, praise God, praise God, praise God, only God. See, I don't think you understand because here she was driving the car and it was actually a blood clot that went to her brain. But God caused her to steer that car to a point where it hit um, a sign, but it hardly did no damage to the car. You, you listen, I'm talking about the God I serve. That's what I'm talking about. See, sometimes when we come together, even when we're in the house here, we're praising the Lord and we're giving commands and we're saying, hey, come up here and praise the Lord. Spin, twirl, begin to stir yourself up in the spirit. You need to be obedient because you don't know. You don't know what's down the road. You don't know. Hallelujah. You don't know how much that praise is going to carry you through something. And so that's all I could do this week was just praise God and give him glory. Amen. Amen. So I just want to say thank you so much for your prayers. Continue to keep her lifted up. Her name is Ernestine. And uh, so praise God. We're, we're just believing for a full manifestation of restoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, prophet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, I just want to be obedient to the Holy Spirit because as you were speaking regarding Ernestine, the Spirit of the Lord said right here, to pray for those doctors who would respond to the urgency of the time because they are his instruments. So, Father, we want to thank you. Lord, we want to thank you for those whom you have created, those whom you have raised up, those whom you have placed your anointing on. Father, we remember your servant, Oral Roberts, how he spoke concerning prayer and medicine, prayer and medicine. And Lord, you have instruments in the earth, vessels in the earth that you have raised up. You have assigned doctors, and we thank you for those that are in the earth who will hear your voice and respond to the urgency of the time and we thank you for the quickening power of the Holy Spirit that even now you are reaching out and you're touching those who are in surgery even at this moment
hand. You're touching them, Father God. You're quickening them, Father. And we thank you for your anointing that you dispense in the earth to raise up your people and to minister to those whom you have assigned to go forth, even those such as Ernestine and many like her, Father. We thank you. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your anointing even now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Just like the Apostle Luke, my God, the, phys the physician <laughs> and evangelist. Amen. <laughs> wrote the book of Luke, but also wrote the book of Acts. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the physicians. And, and I believe God's going to raise up physicians even in our lineage. Amen. Amen. I've got a niece that's in medical school right now. Brittany, we just declare that over you right now in the name of Jesus, that you're going to serve the Lord. Amen. 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 And even our children, some of them shall be physicians. And amen. Amen. <laughs> we just believe that right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Well, God is so good. He's so good. He's so faithful. So whatever it is that you're in need of this morning, just cry out to the name of Jesus. And listen, he is there. He, he's not going to forsake you. He's going to be right there when nobody else is there. When you can just call upon the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to try to get to these announcements really quick because we got to move forward here. Listen, we've been studying the book of Acts at House to House. And so we met this past Wednesday for House to House at the three locations. And I'm telling you, the people on the, on the east side and the west side, I heard that they wanted to meet more than just on Wednesdays, on, on the first Wednesday of the month. So we're extending this out to this coming Wednesday. We're going to meet. And the address is there in your... Um, in your bulletin there, you'll see it. Let me see if I can find it. There it is at the top there. Yeah, uh, 820 Main Lane. Is that right? 820 Main Lane. And that's right here off, of, I believe it's kind of like off Orange Avenue. Is that correct? Amen. Amen. So thank God for Iris. She opened up her place as a place that we can come. And this is for all of the house to house groups. We're going to meet this Wednesday. Amen. 6.30, starting at 6.30 um, for fellowship, and then the actual meeting starting at 7. So let's, let's, let's be there. We're going to also let this be a little bit of a planning meeting to kind of talk about house-to-house -house groups. But I just thought that that was just awesome, how the people were so hungry for more of the Word of God. Because we started talking about Acts Hey, come up here, Blanche. Come up real quick and just testify about to your group. Just when we started talking about Acts, it just the hunger just grew from to know more about what the word is saying. Uh, well, I mean, we just we just really had a good time um, just starting from the beginning and going into, uh, you know, the new church, the new covenant, what is happening now. We know about what happened then, but what's happening right now and how we play a part in that role. How do we access the kingdom of God to affect the earth and what is happening in it and affect people's lives? So it was just really a very powerful time. Some of the questions were very uh, provoking and it really provoked thought and we just began to just really share and just dig in the word and just yet yeah, we just had a good time amen west side so some of them are missing I, I don't see some of them here but anyway we had an excellent time the word of God is real and I mean it is deep and it cuts uh sharpened in, two, in a two-edged store and I'm telling you it was really great and it's going to get better and better and better amen, amen. Amen. Say, this is like the church of Acts. We are like the church of Acts. Amen. Amen. It's the move of his spirit. Amen. So we just started chapter one. And so we're going to move into chapter two for next week. So you can go ahead and read that chapter and be ready to move forward. All right. 
Amen. Amen. All right. And then um, just a couple of things on the 14th. We have a leadership meeting, but we have made that a conference call instead of us getting together. Okay. That's at two o'clock. And then mark your calendar for March 26th through the 28th. We have the Fierce Women's Conference in Daytona, Florida. How many ladies are going to be a part of that this year? Just raise your hands if you're going to be a part. Raise your hands. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Let's just get together right, right after service, right out here on the porch. All the ladies, I want to see you, and I want to find out who all's going to this conference coming up, all right? And then March 29th through the 3rd, we have the Healthy Kids Run. That's, uh, that's going to go on for, is it five weeks or six weeks? Okay. Okay, it's five actual weeks, but because Easter is going to be covered during that time as well, so you'll skip one week. Okay, so we still need people to sign up for this. Please see uh, um, Mother Pauline about that to sign up. Amen? Okay, so are you ready to give this morning? How many givers are in the house? Did you guys have your coffee this morning? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have a sign in my office and it says, I'm fueled by Jesus and coffee. So if you come to visit me at my desk, you're going to see that sign. And it's Jesus first, but coffee's in there too. So, <laughs> amen. So when you come in here on Sunday mornings, you need to be fueled, fueled by Jesus, amen, first and have your coffee and ready to go because God's going to do some things here. Amen. 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 Praise God. So this is our giving time. You know, the first 10% of everything that we bring in, we offer it unto the Lord. Amen. As our tithe, 10% of everything. Amen. And then our offerings, we give offerings, we give alms. And we also have first fruits coming up. And we're going to have some teaching on that. Hopefully, uh, within we'll probably have that next week. We'll talk about first fruits. Amen. We usually do it um, in the April time frame. So um, we'll, we'll bring some more information up about that. Amen. Amen. So let me find a, let me get a scripture here real quick about what God's doing. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Let me see. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I tell you, I, I, right when I get paid, the first thing I'm doing is I'm getting my tithe in the ground. Because your tithe, that's, a, that's seed. And when you sow seed into good ground, you're going to produce a harvest, right? So you've got to get the seed in the ground. You've got to do it. And, you, and, and the quicker you do it, I'm telling you, the more blessed you're going to be. Amen? How many of you have experienced that? Amen. Amen. Some of you need houses. Some of you need jobs. Some, some of you need deliverance and breakthrough. Amen. In several areas of your life. And so what you need to do is you need to sow it into the word of God. Amen. 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 Okay. Let's see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We'll just declare Exodus 19, 24. It says, then the Lord said to him, go down and come up again, you and Aaron with you. But do not let the priests and the people break through to come up to the Lord or he will break forth upon, upon them. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We were talking about breakthrough, breakout this morning. We want to be able to break out of whatever it is that's holding us back. We were talking about how the breaker is among us. The breaker is among us. To take a hammer and to break up those things that hold us back, the obstacles that keep us from going before the priest, the king of kings and lord of lords. Amen. 
Amen. And so we have to be able to go forth before the Lord and bring our tithe in and to present it. When I put it in the bucket, I say, Lord, I submit this before the high priest. The high priest. Who is the high priest? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is the high priest. You present, you present your tithe and your offerings before him. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I'm not going to be up here much longer because we've got a lot of things we got to do. You got to get ready to come on. <laughs> All right. Amen. So let's just bow our heads. Father, we just thank you for the givers this morning, the generous givers. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, even as we have planted our seed, Lord God, in the sower, Lord God, this is, we declare that legacy life is good ground and surely it shall produce a fruit, the fruit, the harvest, God, surely it shall bring forth, break out in our lives in the name of Jesus, God. So we thank you, Lord. Lord, for this breakout seed, this breakout tithe and offerings, Lord, in the name of Jesus, God, that surely yes, it will it. produce and will bring in testimonies into the house of God Hallelujah. about your Stop. goodness Stop. and your mercy, oh Lord. Stop. We thank you, Lord. We, we thank you, Lord, for houses. We thank yes. you, Lord God. We thank you for jobs. We thank you for businesses yes. in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for healing and deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for salvation, God. We thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing in our lives. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. And everyone said, amen, amen, amen. So you are free to give. You're released to give. Thank you, Lord. It's just a very simple. I got a great bonus I wasn't expecting. <laughs> amen 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 congratulations we, we rejoice with you and we also declare that for us amen <laughs> amen amen anybody else anybody else come on up here rosa <laughs> come on put your hands together as she comes Blessing everybody. So I have two testimonies. One about blood clocks. So when I went to my business trip, I went to Indiana and I was fine. Monday I was getting ready to go to, to work. And when I went to put on my socks, I felt a pain. And when I look, it was a lump, it was a blood clot. Okay? But as servants of God, right? We don't run to doctors. We lay our hands and we rebuke it. All right, and we pray over ourselves. And let me tell you, that black clock disappeared, all right? No black clocks. It was black and blue for a little bit, and now it's clear. So as servants of God, we need to take that word. We need, as we pray for others for healing, we need to pray ourselves. Instead of running to the doctor, instead of running, getting a pill for a headache, please lay your hands and believe and have faith in God. My second testimony is yesterday I had my review at work. I received a 4% raise, and I also received a bonus that we were not ready for it. So I praise God, and I thank God for that. Amen. <laughs> to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Come on, give him praise just as if it was yours. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on now. Come on. Come on and testify. Come on and testify testimony is something that I'm just sensing in the spirit. Every time I turn around, there's been something about blood clots. Uh, you gave the testimony about blood clots. I had the blood clot this week and, uh, you know, and uh, we uh, had a, a friend, they called and said, please pray for the family. The uh, uh, longtime friend, she was in the hospital and she developed all these blood clots and they couldn't get them out and she passed away. Listen, everybody's not going to make it or everybody didn't make it, but we have the, the ability and power and authority Authority over that thing every I'm, I keep getting all these phone calls about blood clots and then I, I wonder to myself and I experience it because that's something I'm supposed to be praying for so that's something that needs to be arrested in the spirit something is not so we just decree and declare right now that that is counseled uh, out of the body of Christ out of men and women in the earth Lord God we ask that you would just arrest that thing in the name of Jesus there is clear passage there is clear movement in the body all, all 
organs function as they should function, Father. We just thank you for that right now. Whatever that is breaking out in the body of Christ with this blood clot, be it spiritual or be it in the natural, it is, it is done and it is over. We bind you in the name of Jesus and we loose the flow of God, the blood flow of God, that blood of Jesus, that life-giving blood of Jesus right now in his place in Jesus' name. Because that's not natural to keep hearing that. Every call over here, over here, over there. We need to take authority over this in the spirit. And I, I, I just, I feel... I just, I, I, I sense that that is also something uh, that has to do with the Spirit of God. This clogging, this, this, where there's not a passage, where the flow of God is not flowing through the Spirit. It's not flowing like it should. And we need to take authority over that thing. It's a spiritual matter that manifests in the natural. And we need to take authority in Jesus' name. Come on, prophetess. I can tell. No, we have to. We are sensitive to the spirit. Just like she spoke. We deal with the things uh, uh, in the natural. Okay. Yes. So what I'm receiving as you spoke concerning the blood clot is the word of the Lord declared that the life is in the blood. Yes. And so... These are the things that seek to uh, intercept, intercept and cut off life. And as it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. So even that which the Lord is bringing forth in the earth, there are different things that seek to intercept and to cut off the life, not only the natural life, but the spiritual life, to hinder the growth of the, the, the spiritual life. And the Lord want us to, with the authority that he has given unto us, that we would address those things and stand forth and see that it is done. Um, did you have something pertaining to this as well? And after you're finished, I'll pray. What I want us to do is to, to declare, there's a word that has been released over this house from the pastor, from our pastor, from our, our papa here. And the word is that this is a disease-free zone. You need to lay hold on that and declare it. I know because uh, I work with disease and, and infirmities and, and all of this kind of stuff when I see, because I work in an ICU, a cardiac ICU, and I see blood clots all the time. So what you need to do is in your walk of life, it, and it, this goes for your family, anything that's connected to you, anything that's partnered with you, anything that is around your sphere of influence, you need to walk around and you need to declare, this is a disease-free zone. This is a disease-free zone. In my spirit, there have been things that the enemy has released, and it's, 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 it's for us. It's for us to grow. It's, it's for us not to say, okay, devil this. It's for us to grow in him, to grow in Christ, to grow in his word, to release his word. And I, I, I see this stuff. I hear the, like the coronavirus. I hear all of these different things, but that, those are distractions. Those are to get you away from your thoughts on Christ because he is the great physician he is the healer he is everything that we need in this life so on my job the first thing people say okay you're gonna you're gonna get this you're gonna get that I deal with a lot of stuff and I said no because around here this is a disease-free zone I am a I am in a disease free zone and I release this every time somebody says this on my job amongst all these diseases and believe it or not God keeps me there was a word prophesied over me that angels walk with me and they do and no matter wh what I've done no matter how I may fall back or whatever I walk in a disease-free zone. So I just want to adhere, I want to admonish you to declare that in your sphere of influence. Don't let people speak. No, it's not what it looks like. It's what God says it is. Come on, you guys need to be up here quickly. <laughs> Okay, um, I was thinking in, in real life, when there's a blockage, a blood clot, there's a little filter that happens 
um, that you can put into your vessel, especially if you're prone to blood clots, to catch all the blood clots. And so even in the spiritual, that's what we need is a filter. Because I feel like as a house for legacy, that there's this spiritual blockage because blocking us from we are always talking about going into the heavens and going beyond to the next uh, point but there's a blockage keeping us and we need a filter to keep all the distractions all the blockage out to, so we won't get distracted so we can press forth so we can move forward as a house so i'm just going to pray that lord heavenly father we thank you lord for this time for this moment that you have allowed us to come and recognize that there is a blockage happening that we can see it spiritually but we denounce that blockage right now in the name of jesus but there will be a constant flow of your anointing that there will be a constant flow of your blood that it will be ever flowing and it won't be broken from this moment forward forward from this second forward in the name of Jesus we declare every spiritual blockage to be broken down in the name of Jesus you have no authority to block the people of God you have no authority to block this house of God we just lift this blockage off this house even while we're in the school we lift this blockage off this house in the name of Jesus every word every curse be broken in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus comes against you right now in the name of Jesus and the blood is pure and the blood is clean and it washes and makes everything whole in the name of Jesus we declare this so right now in Jesus name by the blood of Jesus yeah